This is original supermodel Twiggy in her 60s heyday. She looks beautiful, stylish, young. Today, Twiggy's in her 60s, and she still looks beautiful, stylish, and, well, young. Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, yes, it is. Officially, today, this advert for an anti-aging cream has been banned by the Advertising Standards Authority for being misleading because Twiggy had her wrinkles removed by a computer. That ruling's a victory for a Lib Dem anti-airbrushing campaign. Adverts shouldn't be allowed to be dishonest about what the product they're promoting can do. But I think there's a wider issue here as well about the amount of retouching that goes on that is very commonplace in advertising and media images generally. And it actually has a real negative impact on women and girls and actually increasingly on men as well. Twiggy, one of the papers this morning... The people at cosmetics company Olay say they promptly and voluntarily removed the original visual as soon as they realised it clashed with their own rules. But even in the studio of professional retouchers, not everyone's comfortable with the extreme image manipulation we see every day. One of the tricks of retouching is to not make your image look retouched. In this case, I think they've gone over the top. And I'm sure that there were probably a whole committee of people to start, you know, telling the retoucher to, to actually go further further, further, and they completely lose sight of where they started. To prove how easy it is, Jean-Michel shaved a good few years off me in 20 minutes and without a smudge of expensive cosmetics. Much better, but the Lib Dem campaign is keen to make things a bit more difficult for the retouching world. And after an embarrassing day for Olay, in the battle to sell youth in a bottle, a few new lines have been drawn.